Right, so we've just finished daytime filming at 30 East Drive. We've had some technical issues, so we've been messing about for a few hours. Um, so we're in the place now. This is the hallway, um, going up the stairs. Um, supposedly this clock up here was thrown down the stairs and the young girl that used to live in this house in the 60s was actually dragged up the stairs by a poltergeist and took into her room. Um, also, the dad that used to live here, he didn't believe any of it, he used to blame it on his son. Um, and basically, one day, he came through into these, well, this cold house. It's so dark in here, there's no lights in here. There's no lights. He came through here into that cold house and uh, something locked him in there. And then he came out being a believer, basically. Um, and yeah, that's the whole story, really. But they were terrorised. Eat some jelly beans. They were terrorised. Um, for years in the house and supposedly this is the home of one of Europe's most violent poltergeists and uh, during daytime filming we've already had some weird stuff happen I was with David you explain it David yeah I was up in the bedroom and we walked into the bedroom we heard the creak of the door behind me and the door was closing behind us as we were walking in as you'll see on the footage uh, I was a bit scared <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. When was, when I was actually when I was filming earlier, we just come downstairs from having the door shut, and there was really loud like pitter patters going up the stairs, like something was standing watching us film, and then it ran off upstairs. Really strange. Um, it's ice cold. Like every time I come near, the, near these stairs, it goes like ice cold. I don't even want to go upstairs, I've got a strange feeling. David! Yes? Come upstairs with me, I've got a strange feeling. <laughs> I've gone ice cold. You whimper. I've gone ice cold, I don't want to go up by myself. Oh, <laughs> I know something's going to have been scare us today. Tonight even. Um, do these lights, what was that? More days while walking the quick lock. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought I thought it sounded like a child or something. Mm. It does chime on it. Does it? That's scary, yeah, this is the room, and this door moved. This is the room where uh, creepy doll. See the door. Mm. This is the room where we're basically we asked here. we asked if anything could make a bang in the room that they're standing in. And a massive bang or crack came from this room. So we came in straight away and then sure. something tried to shut us in. Sure. Um, we like, yeah, we caught it on camera, so. Mm. Yeah, but look, if you look at it a lot, it's automatically yeah. swinging by itself backwards. So we went that way. Yeah, yeah so if you if you leave it, yeah. when you when it was went that far, go that far, it was like here. Yeah. It was like that when we came in. Then it yeah. went like, it sort of went like that. And it swung backwards and carried on going slowly yeah, like yeah. that to about there. Straighted, didn't it? Yeah, we're just having a bit of a little break while we film this before we get into it. Um, David won't be laughing too long. Oh, I'm in the cold house. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So the viewers uh, voted for David to be locked in the cold house later Thanks in the what? pitch black. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> um, you also voted for me to stay in a bedroom, but I've got to be blindfolded. What what bedroom? This one. Yeah. Yeah, this is cr creepy. Right? This is why we had loads of stuff up here. Yeah. So, I've got to be blindfolded. I've got to be blindfolded in here in the pitch black. Um. And then we've put like a poll online where you guys at home have voted for numbers between one and four. Um, okay, we're going to pick <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pick numbers at random later. Um, whoever picks the number that's got the most amount of votes has to stay in this house completely alone in the pitch black for twenty minutes. Um, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes at least. Twenty it's a minutes. Lifetime. 
Try to, try to, try to, what's the name is? Make me go grey. <laughs> <laughs> I know what number is one. Nobody else knows. So if I pick that number, you'll see my face drop. Because <laughs> I don't want it to be me. Yeah. I do not want it to be me. Yeah, I'll well, make sure you don't look when you're picking the numbers out. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I don't get the right one. We're just laughing all up in a little tiny wall. <laughs> this this bedroom here is supposed to be quite haunted as well. Is there a light? Oh, look at that creepy light. That's a bit freaking creepy, isn't it? Look at that doll. That doll's making me feel weird. I hate dolls. Yeah, so this room... Um, it had loads of weird stuff happening. Uh, this bed actually destroyed itself. Actually destroyed itself. And the the police were called. Um, they came in, couldn't find anything. There was no forms of anyone breaking in. There were no teams here that night. But that bed there destroyed itself. And the police couldn't figure out how it happened. <coughs> and that was actually recently. That wasn't in the 60s. So we'll see what happens tonight anyway. I just feel really heavy, like something's around us watching us. Here's the uh, living room area. Old radio. Here's them. What's that, Tom? I don't know. It's off somebody's camera. Holy Bible. Might need that later. After a bit of filming in a bit, um, I think I'm going to do like a little ghost box session in here as well, which will also be in this same video. So, like it, in about it's not, it's not a second, it, it will skip to that ghost box session. Middle, so, yeah. yeah. See you then. Right, so I'm in the living room at 30 East Drive. I'm going to carry out a Jensen ghost box session. Um, we're coming to the end of the investigation now. We've had quite a lot of uh, creepy, weird, strange things happening. So, you'll see that on the episode, which is coming on Saturday the 16th of April. 7 p.m. on YouTube. Get ready for it because it's going to be a crazy episode. So let's do this anyway. See if we catch anything. See if anyone wants to talk. Is there anybody here with me? Who's here with me now? What's this house known as? Strange voices coming through. Um, obviously, in the moment, I don't hardly hear any. But when I go over this footage, there could be some pretty interesting voices. Come on. Obviously, I could just replayed them anyway. Come on. Is there a poltergeist here? Did I say it's terrible or something? I swear it did. The others are in there sorting some of the stuff out. If you can uh, hear people talking. What did I just say? Come on, speak to me. Who's talking to me now? Who's the male? Who's the male that's talking to me? I don't know whether um, there was any sort of relevant voices on there, but I definitely heard some things on there, and I'm sure 100% there would have been some amazing responses. Because all the time, not in the moment, I come across them in the edit. It's just like full sentences and intelligent answers to what I'm asking, and in the moment I just don't hear it. Um, a lot of them... Like on my last video, for example, where I visited my old house. That one, there was loads of responses that I didn't hear in the moment. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this concludes my little behind-the-scenes ghost box video at 30 East Drive, the poltergeist house. You'll have to get ready to see what happened here tonight uh, for the episode. And that goes out again Saturday the 16th of April on this YouTube channel. Get ready for it. Make sure you've subscribed. Give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you heard anything on the ghost box. Let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to 30 Strive episode. And yeah, until next time guys, 
I'll see you soon.